Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. Good. That's all the papers I need. Bye. Bye-bye, Daddy. Mummy, can we make something? Yes. What would you like to make? Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. Let's make an aeroplane. <laughs> George <laughs> likes aeroplanes. Can we make an aeroplane that flies? Yes. All we need is some paper. <laughs> we know where there's paper. <laughs> there is lots of old paper in the workroom. Here's some paper. Perfect. Mummy Pig is going to make a paper aeroplane. Fold the paper down the middle. <laughs> now fold the corners in at one end. Fold those corners in again to make a point. Then fold the sides back like this. Paper aeroplanes! <laughs> Let's see if they can fly. Ready, steady, go! Mummy Pig's aeroplane has flown into a tree. My turn! Whee! Pepper's aeroplane has landed in a flower pot. Your turn, George! Whee! George's aeroplane is doing a loop the loop and has landed in the duck pond. <laughs> Let's make a big aeroplane. We'll need a really big piece of paper. <laughs> Here's a big piece of blue paper. <laughs> Pepper and George have made a big blue aeroplane. Daddy Pig! Hello, everyone. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes, but I've forgotten some important papers. Daddy, we're making aeroplanes. <laughs> we made a really big one. Wow! Fantastic! You need someone big and strong to throw it. Ready? Steady, go! The big blue aeroplane is flying very high and very far. It just keeps on going. Bye-bye, aeroplane. Oh, oh, bye-bye. Now, I need to find my important work papers. Has anyone seen any pieces of paper? Um, uh, maybe you should follow me. Is this one of your important papers? Yes, that's one of them. Is this one of your important papers, Daddy? Yes. Thank you, Pepper. Uh, why are we at the duck pond? Oh, I see. Thank you, Mrs. Duck. The only paper I'm missing now is a big blueprint. Is it big and blue? Like the aeroplane you flew a long way away, Daddy. Oh, um... The one that we said bye-bye to? Yes. Maybe I should ring the office. This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, Daddy Pig. Did you find the papers? I found some of them. The only one we need is the big blueprint. That might be a problem. Daddy threw it away. Threw it away? And it flew and flew forever. Ah, it's here. It just landed on my desk. Eh? What a great idea to make it into a paper aeroplane and throw it to us. Oh, yes. Well, I am a bit of an expert at throwing things. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Now the blueprint is delivered, Daddy Pig can take the rest of the day off work. Ah, that's nice. Daddy, we need your newspaper. What for? Making paper aeroplanes. <laughs> 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 It is very early on Christmas morning. Pepper and her family are staying at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. George, wake up! <coughs> Santa's bean! <laughs> Bubble mix! <laughs> Comets! And tangerines! <laughs> Mummy! Daddy! It's Christmas! Hey, what? 
It's too early, Pepper. Go and say Happy Christmas to Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa! Ah! Paddock! All hands on deck! It's Christmas! It's three o'clock in the morning. But Santa's been. Can we see if he's still here? No, Santa's not here. Look, the carrot, drink and mince pie have gone. He's only left crumbs. Yes, Santa likes a good mince pie. And there are big presents under the tree. <sniffs> I asked Santa for a doll. Can we open them now? We will open the big presents after Christmas lunch. Oh, goody. Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Let's pull the crackers. There are paper hats inside. And party trumpets. <laughs> and jokes. What wobbles in the sky? I don't know. A jellycopter. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> This Christmas pudding is delicious. Papa and George helped me make it. We did the stirring. Did you make a wish, Peppa? Yes, I wished for... Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open the presents. Yippee! This one is for George. <laughs> it is a racing car set. <laughs> this looks a bit complicated. Let me see. This goes here, and that goes there, and this goes there. Let's race! Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Daddy and Grandpa are enjoying playing racing cars. Isn't that George's present? <laughs> I think George is quite happy playing with the box. <laughs> <laughs> this is your present, Daddy Pig. Ah, socks. And I've got socks. 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 Oh. <laughs> so, the last present must be for... Me! I asked Santa for a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Oh, Birdsey. Birdsey. That present is for Polly Parrot. But it was the last one. Santa has forgotten me. Hello? <laughs> Can I talk to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. Did you get your doll? No. I got mine. It cries and laughs and closes its eyes and everything. Santa's giving you my doll. No, the label says for Susie Sheep. <laughs> then Santa has forgotten me. Ho, ho, ho! Santa is on his way home. That's the last of this year's toys delivered. Oh, what's this at the bottom of my sack? Santa can't have forgotten you. I have been a good picky, haven't I? Ho, ho, ho! Santa! Uh, hello. He came down our chimney. Of course he did, Granny. Here's your present, Peppa. Sorry it's a bit late. <laughs> My doll! Thank you, Santa. Would you like some Christmas pudding? George and I stirred it and made wishes. Mmm, yummy. And I wish that Santa would visit us on Christmas Day. And you did. Ho, ho, ho.
Edmund Elephant's birthday. <laughs> Mr Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Oh, look. Someone's got a party invitation. It must be for me. It says, to George Pig from Edmund Elephant. Please come to my party. Doesn't it say George and Peppa? No, just George. Hmm. I didn't want to go to a silly baby party anyway. Hello. Oh, it's for you, Peppa. It's Emily Elephant. Hello. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to come to Edmund's party as my friend? Oh, yes, please. My mummy wants us to help with the little ones. Help? Yes, I can help. Danny and Susie are helpers too. Oh, goody. <laughs> Everyone is here for Edmund Elephant's party. <laughs> oh, the helpers are here. Hello, Hello Mrs. Mrs. Elephant. Elephant. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Who wants to play musical statues? Yay! This is what you do. Dance when the music is playing and when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go! Head, shoulders, knees and toes Just knees and dance toes. already! Head, shoulders, <laughs> knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> This one is still blinking! You're out! <laughs> You're moving, George! You're out! <laughs> Richard and Edmund are out! <laughs> so Zaza is the winner! <laughs> You've got a medal. It's made of real plastic gold. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, musical statues is over. Lovely. <laughs> now it's time for Pass the Parcel. Yay! When the music plays, pass the parcel round. When the music stops, take some paper off. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> George, pass the parcel. Edmund has got a medal. <laughs> Hurry up, Richard. Just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> no, George, that's Zaza's medal. <laughs> it's a giant teddy. Edmund has one. <laughs> Mummy, pass. Parcel is finished. Um, lovely. Now it's time for food. Hooray! <laughs> oh, the helpers have taken all the seats. <laughs> this is Edmund's party, remember? The helpers can eat after the little ones. Oh, oh yes. yes. We're the helpers. <laughs> <laughs> Goose, please. Juice, please. Juice, please. Jelly, please. Jelly, jelly. More, please. <laughs> Happy birthday, Edmund. Happy birthday, Edmund. <laughs> it is the end of the party. Thank you to the helpers. You all worked really hard. Yes. It's not easy looking after little children. <sighs> I need to lie down. I need a holiday. <laughs> <laughs>
bush. Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Today I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Aye, aye, Granny, Granny Pig. Pig! We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa! But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no. I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush. And she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Pepper. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush. And she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um... Can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, Mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. My prince. My princess. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly. And she was going, Ah! Help me, help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Peppa. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble then? Well, mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit's boat yard. Pepper, George, and Granny Pig are going out for a day on Grandpa Pig's boat. Ahoy there, Pepper and George. We're ready to go sailing. I'll move the boat a bit nearer. Careful you don't hit that big stick, Grandpa. That's a mooring post. I won't hit it. Oh. 
Grandpa, there's a big hole in your boat. It's just a scratch. Ooh, Grandpa's boat is sinking. Quick, Grandpa Pig, jump off. A captain never leaves his sinking ship. Grandpa Pig's boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. It is Grandad Dog. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig! Lovely day for a sail! Um, yes. Ahoy there! I'm taking my boat to the boatyard today. Going to get a few repairs done. Uh, would you mind taking my boat to the boatyard too, please? Of course. Where is your boat? Um, I'm standing on it. Oh, has it sunk? Uh, well, a little bit. I'm surprised your boat didn't sink a long time ago. What? It's a better boat than that rust bucket of yours. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are very best friends. Catch this, Captain! Aye, aye, Skipper! <laughs> Grandad Dog's truck has lifted Grandpa Pig's boat out of the water. Wow! Next stop, the boatyard! What's a boatyard? A boatyard, Pepper, is where broken boats get mended. This is Grampy Rabbit's boatyard. Ahoy there, me hearties! Ahoy there, Grampy Rabbit! Ooh, who did that to your boat, Grandpa Pig? Um, someone drove it into a mooring post. It went crash and made a big hole there. You should never let other people steer your boat, Grandpa Pig. Uh, yes. Can you mend it? Of course. I just need to size up the damage. Grampy Rabbit is measuring the hole in Grandpa Pig's boat. Now I need to find something to patch it up. It must be good to know how to mend a boat. Oh, it takes years to learn how to mend a boat. How long have you been mending boats? Years. Grampy Rabbit has collected lots of scrap metal to mend boats with. Now this is a gold mine. It's a pile of rubbish. Ah, uh, but you can make things from piles of rubbish. Like what? Like submarines. Wow. Grumpy Rabbit has made a submarine out of rubbish. Does it actually work? Watch this. It fills up with water, so it's very good at going down, but not so good at coming back up. Now this is what I've been looking for. It's a washing machine. It's the fix for Grandpa Pig's boat, is what it is. You're going to mend my boat with a bit of washing machine? Yes. That's as good as new. Hooray! Now we test it. Prepare for launch. Hi. Amazing! It floats. You sound surprised. Yes, usually they sink on the first go. Now we can go for our day on the river. What a splendid idea. This is the life out on a boat with just the sea and the sky. I know a song about the sea and the sky. Uh, do you want to hear it? No, no thank, thank you. you. Yes, please. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. So was the sky. <laughs> <laughs>
Peppa and George are playing at Zoe Zebra's house. Little Zuzu and Zaza are making a jungle with play clay. George has made a dinosaur out of play clay. Peppa and Zoe are having a doll's picnic. Hello, Mr Monkey. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, oh, oh. Monkey says yes. What's the magic word, Mr Monkey? Oh, oh, oh. That means please. Oh, we haven't got a tea set. We could make a tea set out of play clay. Yes. George, can we use a play clay, please? No. Grrr. Zuzu, Zaza, we need to make a tea set for our tea party. No. You can help us make it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make the teapot and we'll make the cups. <laughs> there, now Monkey can have tea. Oh, this teapot is too soft. Real tea sets aren't soft. <coughs> My mummy makes real pots. She does pottery. Ooh. <coughs> mummy, can you help us make a tea set, please? With teacups and a teapot that we can put real water in. OK, come with me. This is where Mrs Zebra makes her pottery. Let's make this tea set. What's that? Clay. All pottery starts off like that. But it's soft, like play clay. We need it to be soft so we can shape it. But later, it won't be soft. Ooh. Mummy Zebra is making a little cup on the potter's wheel. There. One cup. Wow. <laughs> that looks Easy! Would you like to try? Yes, please! <laughs> it's all slimy! <laughs> ah, it's all gone wrong! Making a cup on a potter's wheel is not easy. There is an easier way to make a cup. First, we roll the clay into a long worm like this. It's a wriggly worm! I'm a wiggly worm, I'm a wiggly worm, I'm made of clay, what shall I make today? I'm a wiggly worm. <laughs> we wrap it round and round like this. It's a bit bumpy. Now I smooth it out with my hands and I add a handle. <laughs> it's a cup. Now we have two cups. Yes, but a tea set needs more than two cups. We'll all make cups. Yes. <laughs> dinosaur. George has made a dinosaur. George always makes dinosaurs. Oh, what a scary dinosaur. <laughs> now we need to bake the tea set in a kiln. A kiln is an oven that cooks the clay and makes it hard. The tea set should be ready. Hooray! Now we paint them. <laughs> the children are painting the tea set. Lovely, bright colours. <laughs> Tea set is finished. Now we can have our tea party. There's a cup for everyone. Oh, we forgot to make a teapot. I know. George's dinosaur can be the teapot. Yes. Let's fill it with water. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best tea set in the world. Everybody knows that all the finest tea sets have a dinosaur in them. Teapot!
is a man. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is playing with her friends. It's Freddy Fox. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Freddy. Freddy. Come on, let's cycle through the big hill. Yay! <laughs> Good morning, Mr Fox. It's afternoon, Mr Pig. Afternoon? Already? My watch must have stopped. My shop sells watches and clocks. Let me see what I've got in the van. One grandfather clock. It's a bit big. Good, isn't it? It actually comes in a set of three. Oh. Who's got the loudest bell? I haven't got a bell. Oh, but my dad will have one in the back of his van. Three clocks are much better than one. Dad, have you got a bicycle bell, please? How many do you want, son? I only want one. I do them in boxes of two. Freddy Fox now has two bicycle bells. Brilliant. Thanks, Dad. Dad gave me two bells. Wow. wow. What else has your dad got in his van? He's got everything. Ooh. What shall we play now? Let's have a bicycle race with a big shiny cup for the winner. But where can we get a cup? Yes, where can we get a cup? I'll see what I can do. The best thing about having your own cement mixer is... Dad, have you got a big shiny winner's cup for our bicycle race, please? How important a race is it? It's very important. Will this do? Well, thanks, Dad. It's Gold! Yes, it's plastic gold. Ooh. One winner's cup is made of plastic gold. Wow. wow! Your daddy's van really has got everything. Yep! Nay! Let's race to Peppa's house. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> Press this button and it just disappears. Ooh. Oh. oh. And if you push this button, you can play CDs. <laughs> <laughs> the friends have all finished together. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> but we've only got one cup. My van has a winner's cup for everyone. Hooray! Mr Fox, is there anything you don't have in your van? Try me. Have you got a banjo? Four or five string. <laughs> you won't have a tree in your van. <laughs> Apple or pear? I bet you haven't got a rocket in there. Boxes of five. What about a chicken? One chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Fox's van is magic. It's a super van. Yes, it is. Come on, Freddy. We'd better get home. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Have you got a bouncy castle? Yep. A garden shed? Yep. I've got everything. <laughs> oh, I've got no petrol. Mr Fox has everything in his van, except petrol. Hmm, I need to get to the petrol station. I would tow you, but I haven't got a tow rope. Oh, I've got plenty of them. I'll do them in packs of five. Can we come along? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Daddy Pig is towing Mr Fox's van to the petrol station. <laughs> this rabbit's day off. Pepper, George and Susie Sheep have had a sleepover at Rebecca Rabbit's house. It's fun having carrots for breakfast, Mummy Rabbit. Yes, we always have carrots for breakfast. I could eat carrots all day, but I'd better go to work. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. 
Mummy Rabbit, why don't you work? I do work, Susie. Who do you think looks after these two little bunnies? You do, Mummy. <laughs> and you can help me by tidying up your toys, please, before someone trips over them. That'll be my sister. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Auntie. I can't stop long. I've got lots of work to do today. I've got the supermarket checkout, the ice cream stall and the bus to drive. See you later then, sister. Bye, sister. Whoops! Wow! Miss Rabbit has tripped over one of Richard's toys. Oh, my ankle. I can still hop to work. No, oh, uh, you oh, stay here and get better. But I've got so much work to do. I'll do your work for you. Which job is first? The supermarket. OK, Rebecca, look after your auntie. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has arrived at the supermarket. Thank goodness you're here, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit is ill. I'll be doing her job today. Are you not Miss Rabbit? No, I'm her sister, Mummy Rabbit. Is this where I sit? Uh, yes. Have you ever worked a checkout before? No. How much is this? Oh, I don't know. I've got a voucher. Do you take book tokens? Can I pay with a card? Um... Susie Sheep is dressed up in her nurse's costume. Don't worry, I'm only a pretend nurse. Stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ah. Rebecca Rabbit's house. Who's speaking, please? It's Mummy Rabbit. Is everything OK? Yes. Good, because this job is going to take me all day. What about Miss Rabbit's other jobs? We'll need more help. Uh, Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Daddy, why are you buying an ice cream? Oh, Peppa, I was on the way to the gym when I thought an ice cream would be nice. Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Ho, oh, oh, ho, I'm an expert at ice cream. Can I have a cherry ice cream? Uh, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, banana. With pistachio and strawberry, please. Ah, strawberry. Oh, it's melted. How about ice cream soup instead? <laughs> Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Miss Rabbit is ill. Can you drive a bus today? Of course, Pepper. <laughs> All aboard! <laughs> Mummy Sheep's car has broken down. <laughs> Granddad Dog's breakdown service. <laughs> Can you rescue me, please? I'll be straight there. We would like to apologise for any inconvenience this may cause to your journey. Driving a bus is quite hard. Selling ice cream is quite hard. Running a supermarket checkout is quite hard. Uh, I'm feeling better. Can I get up now? No, you must lie very still, but please keep breathing. Are you feeling any better, Miss Rabbit? It's not easy doing all your jobs. It's not easy looking after your little bunnies. <laughs> you will be back to work tomorrow, won't you? Yes. And you'll be back at home, won't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>